shaves. I'm back! <laughs> Sorry for the week's absence. Um, I was laid up, I had a stomach bug and I, I've been quite ill. But I'm okay now. Right, today's shave is a tack shave. My first shaving soap that I ever bought and it's this, Arco. And I was tagged by Kevy Parr of Kevy Shaves. How you doing Kevy? Give my regards to Sean and Riley. And I was also tagged by NY Wet Shaving, uh, Jimmy. How you doing bro? I hope you are okay. Right, yeah, Arco. Not to everybody's taste, not to everybody's um, scent, but I love it. It's a really classic old school scent. And if you're on a budget for hard soaps, you can't go wrong with Arco. Um, it's a great soap, it, it lathers easy, it, um, it's got the slickness. It's got a really old school scent. There's a slight, very slight lemon in there as well. So that's what we're using. And there it is. I've turned it upside down because I want to keep the little man's embossed face. So I turn it upside down, put it back in the bowl. Brush of choice is my Samoog 820 Albino Ball. And I've got that soaking in skeletal. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> right. Razor, razor we used, I haven't used this for such a long time and it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves. And it's my Fatip Piccolo, very cheap razor. It's open comb, brass handle, chrome coated. Little heavy sucker, but this is a gem of a razor. It's beautiful. Three piece. Quite a long thread on there. The blade I'm using is another blade that was gifted to me from Darren McGuinness up there in Scotland. How you doing Darren? And it's London Bridge. Yeah, now London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Oh, double wrapped. I've not used these before, so thank you very much Darren. I like the blade. I like the blade. So I'll pop that on there now. Wait talking like that. Oh, it's got the, um, see the numbers? You can see the numbers on the corners? They are quality control numbers, I believe, where they're checked and they check every blade and every corner of the blade, apparently. Tiny bit of overhang there guys, but there's the blade all seated. Looking good. It's an aggressive razor, not for a beginner, but the soap is. So if you're new to this way of wet shaving, give the brush three flicks. Let's get lathering. Yeah, it, if you're new to this way, way of shaving, or you're thinking about it, you want to get into hard soaps, Arco is a budget friendly soap. You've got the quality of the soap, the lather, it's a really nice, classic, old school scent. I love it. Just that not a lot of people do, so I'm just gonna gather a bit off the uh, puck. I'm gonna dip, dip the tips. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna dip the tips, just add a little bit more water. Just gather what I think we'll need off the puck into the brush. And I'm going to go with that. We can always return to the puck if we need it. Right, let's wet the face and let's get all out of it. Right. Dry the hands off. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. You're amongst good friends. Let's paint this on and then work it into the whiskers. It's gonna need... I forgot to bring in a, um, a stick, because it comes in stick form as well. I'm in 
desperate need of a shave as well. We've got seven days worth of growth here, guys. I've not had the energy to do anything. A bit more water on the tips. Yeah, not me for six. I've been bedridden for three, nearly four days. But I'm feeling a lot better now. I haven't got a clue what it was. It wasn't Corona, it wasn't the new variant. Let the water out of the sink. Get some heat from the blade. Even. Clear the runways. Here we go, guys. First pass for Teep Piccolo. They do a grand or a grande, and it has a slightly thicker handle, but it's hollow, so it's a, a wee bit lighter. For Teep, also do a um, what was this? A uh, special edition as well it comes in two-tone i think it's gold and black head i could be wrong i definitely know it's gold but i think it's black as well and it comes with two plates it comes with an open comb like this and it comes with a closed comb they also do a twist as well I quite fancy that, it looks a really nice handle and I've heard good things about the razor. So I'm, I might invest in one of them after Christmas. Slant, not twist, sorry. Get me mucking words for them. Plenty of blade feel, very efficient razor. Soap is, I love this soap. It's a great budget soap. So how's your shaves going guys? Let me know in the comments what your shave of the day is. And let me know if, you, if you've got one of these or if you've used the Fatigue Piccolo, what you think of it. Let me know if you've used the soap and what you think of that as well. I'd be interested to know your thoughts on the soap because it's not to everybody's taste. Right, love it. That's a great first pass. Great first pass. Bit of slickness there. Might have to go back to the puck yet, yeah, I don't know. Looking a bit thin, I want to go back to the puck. Didn't gather enough on the brush, but a bore brush will hold the, uh, the lather a little. But with it being a hard soap, I wanted to use a bore. Just to be sure to get the lather. Bit more water. Water! Bit more water there. And it doesn't taste bad either. You get it in your mouth. <laughs> I 
There we go, second pass across the grove. Yeah, it's great to be back shaving. Great to be back talking to you guys. I've missed you. When I'm ill and I can't shave, I, it drives me nuts. I haven't had the energy to do anything, guys. Couldn't focus. Massive head, uh, headaches. Yeah, a little gem of a razor. You should have called it a gem. Fatigue gem. No problem getting to the nostrils. Like I say, it's not a beginner's razor. But once you progress and you want to go into open combs, it's not a bad razor if you're on a budget. Plenty of feedback off the blade. It's singing. Don't know if you can hear it. Wow. It's a great shave. So how's your week going guys? I know it's only just started, but I hope you, I find you well and in good spirits. Get in the Christmas spirit. I hope you've all been good for Santa. I'm looking forward to the shaves next week. I've got some really nice uh, shaves lined up. I haven't forgotten about the competition, it's going to be in a separate little video. Here we go guys, the money pass against the Grove. I love that sound. You really feel it cutting the whiskers. I don't know if you can hear that. It has the same feel to me as a straight. I don't shave with a straight. I don't really shave them straight, but I've used one. It almost feels like a straight. With the blade feel. Usual suspects, I can feel them already, just there. Just enough. In the brush. Doesn't hold that much, to be honest.
Yeah, I was I was tagged a f two or three weeks ago, and I've only just got down to doing it. I had plans on doing it over a week ago, but things crop up. I'm exceptionally busy this time of year with my job. And thank you for the comments as well, guys, with the previous videos. Keep your comments coming. I'll, I love reading them. And at this time of year, I'm taking the time to uh, reply. So y you will have to forgive me. Please don't be offended if I don't reply straight away. It might take me a few days at this time of year. But once this time of year is over with my job, I'll be back to normal. Hopefully. Oh, wow, that's nice. Come wash it. Alum block, I always use the alum, it's a fantastic astringent. It's good for the skin. People say, oh, it dries your skin out. Well, that's what the, uh, the balm's for. A little bit of feedback under the chin, under the jawline. Other than that, nothing. Got water in again. Nice warm fresh towel. Thanks, Mrs. B. I do appreciate it. That's a great shave, guys. Fantastic results. Right. Another fantastic classic. This is not the genuine. That's the genuine, and that's the genuine. They're my favourites of the Floyd. I have the black as well, that's an excellent clone. But I've got the Mentalado. There's slight menthol in it, and it's classic. Although it feels like Bakelite, but it's not. Oh, it's beautiful, classic stuff. Do you know what I love about Floyd? It's the feel on the skin. It's exceptional. If you haven't got any Floyd guys, get some. It's beautiful stuff. Make sure I've got the right one. <laughs> I think it is because I can feel a slight menthol. Yeah, Mentalado Vigoroso. Beautiful stuff. Right, I'm gonna go with Arco Sensitive. Might as well use an Arco balm since it was using a, a classic Arco soap. That's all you need. You say. That is a great shape, guys. That feels fantastic after a week of growth. I feel human. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for sticking by me, all your regular viewers. I really appreciate your support. New subscribers, I've had a few of them as well. Thank you so much for jumping on board. I really appreciate it. Get your mates to join in. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you, if not before, I'll see you on a Friday for the Friday Shave. I'm hoping there'll be a couple of um, videos in between. I've got the competition video today where you can win the um, the loafer um, juice soap. So uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that. I was hoping to do it at the weekend, but 
I've been ill, so I'm going to do it in a separate video. So it'll probably only be a five minute video. Right, thanks guys. If we don't see it on Friday, enjoy the rest of your week. Please stay, stay, uh, stay safe, stay safe, and uh, have smooth shaves. I'll see you. Then. <laughs> see you then. I'm going now. <laughs> see you guys. Bye now.